Good evening and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Igbe and in this evening in my kitchen we're gonna be making jollof rice. I'm gonna be making jollof rice for about 25 people. So and uh, what I have here, uh, my ingredients for the jollof rice where the start of the day is actually the rice. And you can see I'm using this parboiled rice from Sam's Club. Uh, so you can see it tells you right there, you know, for 25 sevens, you know, I'm gonna do about two pounds water of rice right there. So, and I have my tomatoes that I'm going to boil. So I'm using, I'm not using fresh tomatoes. I'm using the canned one. So I'm just gonna blend that in and kind of boil it. So, and these are my condiments to spice my food and my turkey that I'm going to be using. So I have curry powder, thyme leaves, salt, nutmeg, uh, no, bouillon, no, and I have this little itty bitty uh, butter right here, you know, so I probably going to use two and just put that, you know, that is totally optional. I have bay leaves, I have rosemary, I have canola oil over there, I do have my red bell, my uh, onions, you can see I have different shades of onions there. I have the yellow one, the white one, and the red one. So I'm, I'm going to be mixing all of them together. I have pepper. I'm most likely not going to use that pepper. If not, nobody will eat that food. I'm just, you know, I'll, I'll take as I need. And I do have tomato paste. I have about uh, seven of them here. And uh, let's go. Okay, guys. Uh, now I'm going to be blending my tomatoes. Uh, basically what I have here is um, to make I'm going to boil this for about 30 minutes to an hour what I have here is my garlic uh, sorry I didn't show this earlier so garlic is part of the whole blend uh, for my jollof and uh, pepper and tomatoes um, that I have whole tomatoes here and I have bear pepper and all my onions over there okay guys you can see that i've stained my tomatoes uh onions bear pepper garlic and pepper uh, banana pepper i stemmed it down for an hour so this is what i wanted it to look like you can see so it's kind of a little pasty now so i'm gonna take this off the stove and go ahead and boil my meat okay guys so for a 20 pound turkey this is how much spice i'm going to be using so you can see i have my um thyme here i'm using two tablespoons of thyme four tablespoons of no bouillon no one tablespoon of salt two tablespoons of curry one tablespoon uh one and a half tablespoon of nutmeg and two tablespoons of rosemary i have everything over here already you know and i'm just gonna pour it in here like that you see and i have some bay leaves in there too so and also i'm going to be putting some onions to spice i already sliced up my onions you can see i slice them in different shapes so i'm also going to put the cube ones so i slice some into cubes so, so i'm going to leave this on the stove to cook for 45 minutes to an hour and we'll be back okay guys now that my meat is all cooked i'm going to take it out of the meat broth and put my oil on the stove and fry the turkey okay guys i'm going to be using my canola oil to fry my turkey so i'm just going to pour it in this pot that's been sitting on the stove i'm going to use about half I'm just gonna wait for the oil to heat up and another thing I like to do is I take a whole onions with the back still on it and I throw it in the oil like so yeah. so and that usually just gives your meat more flavor it makes it a little more you know make on the scent uh -huh. make us speak for PG I don't know how to say that in you know gives it a little more like aroma hang that's what i was looking for aroma all right let's wait for the oil to get hot all right guys you can see that my oil is hot my onions over there is kind of like cooking so i'm gonna put my oil in the oil i'm basically gonna put it inside till 
I'm just trying on my phone. Okay guys, you can see that my meat has been fried. So now the next step is that that same oil that I used to fry my meat, I'm going to pour it in my pot that I'm going to use to do the sauce. And um, what I have here is one tablespoon of uh, curry, one tablespoon of uh, thyme, one tablespoon of rosemary, one tablespoon of salt, and two tablespoons of no. So basically what I do is, uh, I'll show you when I get over there, but what I do is I pour this in my oil, then put my onions, then start frying my tomato paste. All right, let's go. Okay guys, so you can see that oil that I used to fry my turkey. Don't throw that oil away, reuse it, because you know when you fry your turkey, some of the um, sweetness of the meat kind of wash into the oil washes into the oil and it gives your food like you know an extra delicious taste so i'm gonna pour it in there you know not everything that's enough so i can use the rest for another time so what i'm gonna go ahead and do now that oil is still hot so that condiment that i was showing you just gonna pour it in there okay so and what that does is you know it makes your food just extra Smells good. I like to fry my condiments, you know, basically. That's what I do. That's what I like to do. So why that is um, kind of like frying, so I'm going to go ahead and add my paste. You know, before I add the paste, let me add the little onions first. You know, and another thing with that paste, whenever you put it on the stove, don't leave it alone because paste doesn't, um, it fries pretty quickly and you don't want it to burn. So I, I use both uh, stars, you know, I dice some and I kind of, you know, slice some in this shape, this round, round shape like so. Okay, so you can see that it's already kind of like frying. So I'm going to go ahead and add my paste in there. So those were all that paste that you saw earlier. So I just went ahead and put it in a plate. And I'm just gonna keep like stirring. Don't leave this alone, okay? Just keep stirring until this is cooked for like, you know, 15 to 20 minutes. Then before you add your to boiled tomatoes. Okay guys, you can see that my tomato paste has been cooking for like 10 minutes now so i'm going to go ahead and i've been here all the time kind of stirring make sure, making sure it doesn't get burnt so i'm going to go ahead and add that boiled um, tomato puree that i did earlier you know all those stuff that i okay now i'm just adding my tomato that i boiled earlier the tomato bear pepper onions garlic um, you know, the good boys and good boys that I boiled earlier. So I'm just adding it to my mix now. So I'm just going to let this kind of fry together for another 10 to 15 minutes. Don't forget my, you know, I already boiled this tomato. So basically it's already cooked. So I'm just letting it like fry together with the paste so they can incorporate, incorporate together. And before I put my meat. Okay guys, I had to turn it off because that tomatoes was doing a kind of karate in there. So but the step I need to show you guys now is I'm going to put some of my meat broth. Remember the turkey broth? So I'm going to add some in there, you know, to just give it a flavor from the meat, you know, so they can all incorporate together. So I'm going to let this uh, mix and cook a little bit okay okay guys you can see that my tomato the sauce and the paste have been, like they've cooked together for about 20 minutes now and I'm just gonna go ahead and put in my rice I turned it off because you know pepper the tomatoes they do pepper body so it's just kind of going everywhere so I can't turn it off for the video purposes so I'm just gonna I washed my rice 
you can see the rice I'm using I washed it until the water was clear like so so I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything in here okay guys you can see that I, I put in my rice and my mix everything together so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that mixed water in there I'm just gonna put enough to cover it up you know so I'll have enough to cook that jollof rice so the next step now I put my heat in low heat because I don't want my rice to burn before it cooks so I put my heat in low heat so I'm just gonna mix everything together like so yeah that meat water will help it to cook let me add a little more of that meat water because I don't like strong jollof rice I like jollof rice that is soft you know so I'm just gonna go mix everything together so I'm gonna put a foil paper to cover it all up okay all right guys so my rice has been on the stove for about 45 minutes now you can see what it looks like so we're just gonna kind of stir it together you can see that it looks beautiful so at this stage what I'm going to do is just put a little onions you know just a tiny bit the one I have left over and I have my bay leaves here so I'm just gonna add my bay leaves never skip that stage okay bay leaves is the oh, she's like the queen of spice and I have my butter here so I'm just using um, this uh, land Olex butter halves you know it's like a half stick so they come in like a little itty bitty half stick so putting that in there so I'm just gonna stir all this together and let it cook for like another 15 minutes and that will be it all right okay guys you can see it's been 15 minutes and the butter and everything the bay leaves are incorporated into my rice my jollof rice and my kitchen smells so good you know ninja jollof always the best all right okay guys you can see the final product of my ninja jollof it is so delicious and you know if you make this at a nigeria party or any party you you know people will be like ah, can you make this for my party too you know uh, i hope you guys replicate this recipe in your kitchen it's very easy to do you know it doesn't take much just go step by step and you'll get it all right and you know as usual for the side i have some turkey meat here that i'm going to use you know to download that uh, jollof rice not just me shall we have plenty all right well to those who have subscribed to my youtube channel thank you very much to those who haven't subscribed please do click the notification bell share my videos in all social platforms facebook uh instagram everywhere that you share stuff share it all right thank you and have a good evening bye bye